start off by telling us a little bit about the project? We started out with a call for proposals for um, uh, ideas for how to commemorate the um, 20 years of of torture that happened under the hands of John Birch at the Area 2 and Area 3 headquarters to over 120 African American men in the um, 80s and 90s, basically, mm -hmm. 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, at one time and point, nobody knew that such a thing as the House of Screams existed on the south side of Chicago, that African American men were tortured there, that they were electroshocked, that they were um, beaten. Um, you know, uh, beaten in a way that they there would uh, be no marks that were left. People did not know that that, that, was, that this was happening in our city and when black men made these allegations, um, you know, by and large what we've heard from the survivors themselves that nobody believed them. This project is really about um, uh, bringing awareness um, to the fact that torture happened here um, in Chicago, um, but also using the arts as a way to um, uh, acknowledge this history, sort of this, un 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 to uncover this history, um, and also to, I think, acknowledge the struggle of activism that took place um, so that we even know <laughs> that this occurred here in this city. One of the things that I think is so important to say about this project is that it is a collective memorial. And so instead of there being a, um, you know, like Alice said, a lot of people ask us, so, so you know, is there going to be one um, juried, um, you know, prize-winning piece? And, and it's very explicitly about all of the memorials together creating a single sort of group memorial. Um, and so, I mean, you can't even call it single, but a multiple Memorial. What we did was um, get together a, a really wide range of, um, of artists, lawyers, activists, writers, um, academics who, 17 of us actually at, this, at the core group, who wanted to um, find a way to draw attention to this, to this project. Um, okay, well can we uh, talk about the title, um, Black Box? What, what does that mean? Well, the Black Box refers to this electric telephone that Burge brought back from Vietnam. It was a way of giving electric shock to people. And um, that's the black box that we're referring to in the title. Although I think the title also refers to the um, obstruction of justice that went on for so long that kept everything hidden mm -hmm. and, 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 and closed. So, mm -hmm. so opening the black box is also opening up and, and looking at that history. The project has a strange uh, quality of challenging all your own assumptions mm -hmm. about you know, what an exhibition could be, what a memorial is, where history exists, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. um, what kind of community you belong to, how you see your city. You know, all of these things, all of these questions are kind of raised again uh, by the project, and I think that's why it's so engaging for 